I heard someone knocking at the door. No, false alarm. It's Marty Fox. Hello, news update. I, you know what? You just remember. <laughs> I keep forgetting to check the news update. I can say that. <laughs> One thing I can tell you for sure is that there's been a heat going on between the four tag teams. And the NWO officials decided to make a four way match for the NWW Tag Team Championship at the next pay per view show, which will be Summertime Nexus. And I forgot to put that image up. <laughs> I'll put it up in a second. <laughs> as far as I know, also last week, I'll just show you right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I warn you, there's gonna be a lot of burping today. I had a big lunch. I need to stop, stop doing that. <laughs> But as I was saying, um, a little sneak before what happened, this is one thing I would show you right now is that Katie J Ewing has suffered money injury from last week. <laughs> Filling in the role of her uh, older sister. <laughs> Hello, G-Man. Welcome back to NWL. <laughs> I was explaining that last week that Katie J Ewing, the younger sister of the Ewing sisters, that suffered a minor injury last week, filling in the shoes, trying to fill in the shoes with Melissa Ewing. <laughs> oh, no worries. <laughs> I can understand the internet connection. I. <laughs> uh, just Kitty J. Ewing was filling the sh was filling in a tag team match because Melissa was not supposed to compete that week because she had a uh, Breaking the Bank ladder match over at the CAW Federation pay-per-view show. But anyway... <laughs> yeah, don't worry, she has the night offs anyway. <laughs> I think. Oh darn, I forgot what the match card is. <laughs> it's fine, it's gonna show up anyways. <laughs> I guess you could say right now she's just recovering from that ladder match at the pay-per-view show. But yes, this is the Women Revolution of Pro Wrestling. Welcome to NWOW. I'm your commentator, Doug Neverson Roman, or Mr. Quacksword is Sun Certain Stone because we're here in Toronto, Canada. <laughs> I hope you like the new layout right now, and also feel free. I added a few things you can see right now. I added back the chat box. <laughs> different, oh, different overlay here. And also, let's not forget our... <laughs> Actually, I don't mind the fireworks. I think I like it how it is. But hopefully, <laughs> 2K22 is a lot better. Yeah, that would be great if we had to add... Pick up fireworks for the beginning of the show. And also, as I was saying, different layout here. Let's not forget. <laughs> Take a swim. I updated this, the swim. <laughs> like, right now. Oh, great. <laughs> I locked some pixels. <laughs> and also, I have updated the slots, too. Which you can see. Oh. <laughs> I added my ducks, duckies <laughs> emos in there. <laughs> Yeah, and also, I also, because I know how much Rosa likes to put a lot of happy emotes there. 
So feel free to put as many emotes as you like. It'll show up a little bit on my screen. <laughs> and G-Man trying... <laughs> went for a swim. Tried to slot. <laughs> Damn. No luck there. <laughs> you have to put slots and then the amount of pixels. <laughs> Oops, it's okay. <laughs> So, oh, hang on a second. There's something going on backstage before we started the show. Mm. Can we get the camera crew back there? I mean, some commotion backstage. What is going on? Oh, hang on a second. Jalga just attacked Deidre O'Shea. Angelica. Oh, getting the armbar on Deidre O'Shea, our current uh, Interstar Champion. I think, I guess you can say that Jugga is still really upset. <laughs> still really upset that she had lost the championship title to Deidre O'Shea. And from the looks of it, it looks like Deidre tried to fight back. <laughs> Why do you much? Why do you much? Well, I don't know. <laughs> you just <laughs> since you're already here, you already automatically receive two thousand pixels. <laughs> yeah, since everybody was, <laughs> everybody been, uh, <laughs> everybody's been swimming in, swimming and slotting into for the pixels. <laughs> Where's Sweet Paul when you need her? I know, where's Sweet Paul? Because look at this. Because Jellica is from Deidre going at it backstage here. For a swim and won some pixels. GG. <laughs> oh, boot to the face from Jellica. And what is she planning here? Going to the top. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. What just happened there? <laughs> and then Rosa lost some pixels. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, these women are vibe. I remind you that Jaga is known as the most dangerous woman in the UK. And she's beating up on Dater O'Shea, one of the youngest star here. And also known as the underdog of Anwau. Uh-oh, Jelica up on her shoulders. Oh, right onto the box there. To that storage bond and now going off to the top again. Oh! Where is security? Where is Referee James? And his brother, Referee James. His dad, Referee James. His cousin, Referee James. His cousin's friend's cousin's Referee James. <laughs> uh oh, Ninjaga. Oh! And that is just a necessary attack from Jellica, just attacking her from behind. And G-Man explaining to Marty Foss to put the amount of... <laughs> you gotta put exclamation point swim and then the amount of pixels. No, GG. Deidre O'Shea got attacked from me backstage. 
I mean, we don't even know what's the situation going on right now, because that is just unnecessary. Well, I can say that the general manager of Avenua has got to put a stop to this. This unnecessary, inappropriate attack from Jellica. And G-Man won some pixels. GG. <laughs> But anyway, we're gonna go down to the first match of the night. That's life. And supposedly, what I've been hearing that the current breakout res breakout wrestling misfit champion, Captain Val Sparrow, was supposed to give a championship title match against Scarlet, as Scarlet defeated the captain a couple weeks ago. But somehow the NWL officials, even though they are a partner with a breakout wrestling, decided to put the match at Summertime Nexus. But they have another idea in mind. Because they're deciding to add another person into the match, making it a triple threat match. And as for Scarlet, she's gonna have to find out right now as she's coming come down to the ring. Yeah, Maddie, Maddie Vixen really is sus. <laughs> ah, how to type. I don't know how to type. <laughs> And Rosa goes for a swing and did not get any pixels. Oh no, you're losing pixels and ever. <laughs> I head down to the ring here. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the lunch. I, I had pizza. <laughs> and Marty Fuss played in the slots. Lots of pixels, and now you're back to square one. <laughs> There's still also a cooldown, too. <laughs> The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Harajuku, Japan. She's known as the Gothic Striker, Scarlet. And she is what, oops, I should have put that logo somewhere else. <laughs> representing from the Breakout Wrestling Federation. Put this somewhere else. Give me a second. <laughs> right. I'll put it right here. That's better. <laughs> I forgot. I'm blocking the chat box. <laughs> and for Scarlet, she was hoping to go after the Mystic Champion. But, NWL official decides he wants to add another competitor here in NWL into the match, and it will be set at Summertime Nexus, our next pay-per-view show. But let's see who's going to be facing it. Oh, and the wolves are howling, but look who's back. Look who's back. And her opponent from Austin, Texas. She is the outlaw werewolf, Cassidy James. The return of Cassidy James making her way back to compete here in NWOW. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to update the logo. Thank you for reminding me that. <laughs> I keep forgetting to change that logo. But anyway, we got the return of Cassidy James. Since the premiere of the show, she has been the top competitor here in NWOW. And she's now here to regain that back once again. And I will say this is a pick for Cassidy James. That she's possibly be entering herself in a triple threat match for the Breakout Misfit Championship. Uh, but Scarlett is really not happy right now. Taking the beating on Cassidy James. Oh, and that, that, that hard on the floor. <laughs> Now Cassidy ain't pushing Scarlet back. Hey, what is going on? Oh, and look who it is. It's the current Misfit Champion, Captain Bell Sparrow. Coming down to the ring. Looks like she's wanting to take a look at these competitor here. Telling Cassidy Chain to turn around. Nope, but that don't get, want to get distracted there. But oh, Cassidy James with a suplex on Scarlet and a nice uppercut yeah I, um, you're not the only one who gets tongue-tied <laughs> Peter Piper pick up pick up pick up, pick up uh, whatever <laughs> even I can't say that <laughs> and there goes the heart striking blows from Scarlet Now grabbing and working on the arm on Cassidy James as he's bringing down on the mat. And Captain Sparrow is looking over there, watching the match. And now up on his shoulder, Scarlet sending Cassidy James a taste of that ropes. And G-Man went for a swim and locks some pixels. Oh no. <laughs> Elbow strike from Scarlet. Oh, and there's a running knee strike. <laughs> and Rosa booing at G-Man. <laughs> Cover one, two, and kick out at two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kick to the mid section from Scarlet. Cassidy Chicken push out of the way. Stomping ground there, punching away on Scarlet Cassidy James. And there's a striking blows from Scarlet, trying to take out the outlaw werewolves as she goes for the cover. One and a two, and kick out at two. Cassidy James managed to kick out. And Scarlet, not too happy, just like Rosa, is not too happy at G-Man as she's coming. <laughs> Having some pixel issues over there. Choke slab by Cassidy James. And now working on the back. And oh, and using those werewolf claws. I just felt that. Uh oh, Cassidy James. Omega Driver onto Scarlet. Might be it for Scarlet here. Oh, wait a second. Why is Sparrow getting involved here? I get what it looks like. He does not want Cassidy James to be involved in the championship match. But that is not up to her, that is up to the officials. But Scarlet managed to make a pick of a victory, pinning on Cassidy James. Oh, no replay, oh well. Here is your winner, the Gothic Striker, Scarlet. And that stupid animation, this is a weird cutscene. This is not supposed to happen. <laughs> But like I said, it's not up to Captain Val Sparrow 
to decide who's going to be competing in the triple threat match. That is up to the NY officials. If they're going to let Cassidy Chains to put in the Misfit Championship title at Summertime Nexus. And I also, for, and speaking of Captain Mel Sparrow, I also add another mini game. <laughs> and oh yeah, it's going down. <laughs> I hope this works very well. I've been testing this command a lot, so let's give it a try. See if you win some pixels. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like up now there's a bit feud going on between Roxy and KB. Supposedly they were in a tag team match a few weeks ago. And KB coming down to the ring, not looking too happy. Oh, and already taking a beating here. Roxy is just putting the hurt on KB. Did we lose the... Did we lose the heist? <laughs> I think we did. <laughs> oh no, we went down... The, we went down in the ship. To Davy Joe's locker, darn. <laughs> oh no. I was hoping it would kill us something, but I guess not. <laughs> Yeah, and then back into the action, Roxy putting the hurt on KB. It's a lot of heat going on between these two. Supposedly, like I said before, they were, KB has been doing pretty well as a tag team, but... But after so many losses, KB decided to just call it quits. And go back to single competition. And from the looks of it, it looks like Roxy is not letting her go. And she's getting the beat down with that double X handle. And they're pushing out of the way. Oh, and again with a double X handle by KB. Blocks the punch and goes for the right hand. Left hand, actually. Blocks the drop kick. And send it with the butterfly suplex. And then Roxy going up high as he's going for the edgy angst elbow drop. He won the last match, it was Scarlet with the aid by Captain Bell Sparrow. <laughs> and then Roxy up on the top rope once again. Gonna fly, hits it with a nice Huracarana onto KB. And now, grabbing a hold on KB with the Edgy Angst German Suplex. Holds it down. One, two, and three. Roxy just put away KB. I'll say this right now, KB is not going to be very happy. <laughs> Rosa, why are you losing pixels? <laughs> Here is your winner, the Edgy Angst Pony, Roxy. Now I will tell you this feud is not yet from over. And they'll probably be facing again over at Summertime Nexus.
Oh, G-Man, don't <laughs> don't make Rosa angry, please. <laughs> And you are, you guys are having fun trying, winning some pixels and losing some pixels. <laughs> All right, on to the next match. Actually, got another rivalry going on between Midnight Cruels and Maria Fernando. And rumors said that Midnight Cruise is a bit really jealous right now. Oh no, Rosa, why? <laughs> now you're down to 12 pixels. <laughs> oh no. Now that is a problem. <laughs> Don't worry, I hope you get back up again. <laughs> Ouch, indeed. <laughs> now heading down to the ring, Midnight Cruise already waiting for Maria Fernando. No hesitation, a bit of deja vu here. No hesitation, Maria. No more swim for Rosa, yeah. <laughs> no hesitation, Maria Fernando. Does had enough with Midnight Cruise. Because rumor has said that Midnight Cruise found out that Maria Fernando won her first championship over at the YWL. You can check that out at their YouTube channel. And we're also trying to go for a swim too. Why did that? Why didn't that work? I think the minimum amount is 10. But I don't know if you want to risk that. <laughs> nice enziguri by Midnight. As he's putting the hurt on Maria Fernando and now going up with the Gorilla Press. Ooh. Into the Moonsault. Straight for the cover. One, two. And Maria kicks out at two. Midnight not having it right now. Coming back with a drop toe hold. Get yeah, picks of no. I don't think I had that set up yet. <laughs> oh no, and Rosa went all in and lost all the pixels. Oh my god, indeed. Oh my god! <laughs> the swim does not like you. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, you can. Maybe if you can wait another 10 minutes, you'll get more pixels. No! Massive super kick by Maria Fernando. It's just known as a Puerto Rican queen. And belly to belly by midnight. Watching on your phone. <laughs> All right, KB lost the match in a few minutes. And I can tell you that Maria Fernando is in trouble right now. If you got defeated by Midnight Crew, this why are these matches becoming short.
and Scarlett won the match. Aided by Captain Bell Sparrow. And GG to Midnight Cruise. That once again defeated Maria Fanny. Ah, bless you, Melissa. <laughs> yes, you and your glitch allergies. Maybe that's your poem, Melissa. <laughs> Here is your winner, Midnight Cruise! Hey, that is a problem. Melissa and her glitch allergies is causing Rosa to lose some pixels. <laughs> sure, take your time. Not going anywhere yet. I hope. <laughs> as long as these matches doesn't become short, this is the second match that's become a short match. I don't understand why. Yes, Scarlet won. <laughs> I need to double check something. I want to make sure it's not going so fast right now. <laughs> No, Momentus set us normal. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Get some water. No worries, take your time. Because I will say this right now. Because there's a tag, me tag team match coming up, and it'll be featuring the Martyrs taking up against... El Cartel. Well, as Body Fox will say, El Cartel. <laughs> and then I'll give you a fun fact about El Cartel. <clears throat> That Angel Gonzalez uh, ring attire is based off my uh, former tag team partner. <laughs> she paid. <laughs> she paid me to say. <laughs> she pay <laughs> Who pay you to say? It? <laughs> I mean, you I don't get paid for this. <laughs> Uh, that's what I was saying. I mean, during my time in, res in wrestling, <laughs> the Angel Gonzalez is based, uh, Ring Attire is based off my tag team partner, and, and very ironic that his name is Angel Santos. And then El Cartel is actually based off our tag team names. <laughs> Miss Ewing doesn't pay you? No! <laughs> I don't get paid, I get fed by chili dogs. <laughs> Which is the reason why I keep dying from Melissa's chili dogs so many times. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. <laughs> mm. And now, heading down to the ring. <laughs> yes, rep the Martyrs representing NYG Man. And they're already pumping up to go. The fall is a tag team at schedule for one fall. <laughs> Making their way to the ring, the team of Zenobia and Enyo, the Martyrs. And also coming from, from the RWF, also representing NYG Man.
Give that man a follow. Awesome streamer. With his lovely wife, Rosa. <laughs> Loves to enjoy these type of matches. Oops, got distracted. But here comes the ring announcer, Jose Rodrigo. Damas y caballeros, aquí te presento lo mejor es pareja de esta federación. Representando de Puerto Rico y España, Ángel González y Juanita Flamenco. El cartel. Like that? <laughs> I decided to put that audio in there. I seriously no wish she had a PC again so I can. Yes, I am so sorry for what happened to your PC. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, you can either get it fixed or get another one. And hopefully, the breakout racing will go back to a regular schedule. But in the meantime, we'll do the best we can to feature the breakout wrestling women to compete here in NWOW. Which is the reason why we are featuring their championship title. And I forgot who is who. Zenobia. No, that's Enyo. G-Man, help me out! <laughs> I totally forgot again. <laughs> I have a brain of a peanut. <laughs> Martyr number one, pushing out of the way. <laughs> I know, I would imagine the Flight Club competing here in NWOW. You never know. Especially here, everybody is welcome. Now Angel Gonzalez sending Enyo the corner. Elbow strike to the back. And a fireman carry. Pushing out of the way on Enyo. Okay, right in the mix session and eats the knee strike. Now dragging a wave closer to the corner there trying to make a tag here tag in Zenobia I hope I get it right their names <laughs> if not I am so sorry and Angel Gonzalez trying to pick her up but fail now turns it around picking up on Angel Gonzalez hooked to the arm there hits it with the brain buster and I'm surprised that was close to the ropes there. And now into the triangle hole, trying to choke out on Angel Gonzalez. And managed to break out of that hold. Oh! Got eaten by a close on from behind, and Angel still managed to kick out. Zenobia trying to grab a hold on Angel Gonzalez as Angel uh oh and it looks like we're gonna get a taste of the Triplecta which is the combination of suplexes by Angel Gonzalez uppercut by Zenobia Angel blocks the, the attack, coming back with a head scissor takedown. And Zenobia rolls out of the ring. And now followed by Angel. Oh, and a power bump to the outside. And Zenobia putting the hurt on Angel. And sits in with the side of the ring. Now bringing Gonzalez back into the ring. No! Oh, hits it with a spine buster by Zenobia. And she's already calling it that this match is already over. 
And now sending back. Stomping away on Gonzalez. And it looks like she's gonna look for a drive-by drop kick. Why did he do it twice? <laughs> What's up? Stop it! <laughs> no! And Enyo hits the bulldog on Flamenco. Gonzalez hits the clothesline, sending Zenobia down on the floor. Now breaking Zenobia back into the ring. And Gonzalez. Uh oh, caught and clothesline takedown. As Zenobia not letting her to get any maneuver into this match. And where's she going for here? Oh, and a curse stomp to the head on Angel Gonzalez, too. And surprisingly, still managed to continue in the match. And drawing those strikes. And now Angel reversed it. What are you trying to do there? <laughs> See, and you failed. Asinoya makes a tag to Enyo. Off to the rose. Double team maneuver. What is this? Oh! Tag team maneuver by the Martyrs. The Angels not having it right now, but still taking out. And she really needs to make a tag. Oh, catch her into a DDT. Enyo putting the hurt on Angel Gonzalez. What is Enyo doing here? Grabbing the ball. Oh, and DDT onto the ring apron. But Angel still continue in the match. Oh, double slap to the head and a takedown with the elbow strike. Pick it up on Angel Gonzalez. And oh, tossing to the ring post. And again. And Joe Flamengo not is really angry right now. Counting to number eight. And barely on number nine, with these two ladies managed to come back into the ring as Angel hits it with a back suplex. And coming back, Angel Gonzalez with those close line. Coming back with a drop kick. Now up on the shoulders, Angel with the air raid crash. Nick Breaker. And a leg breaker. Oh, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying not to let that out. <laughs> now Angel. Let's try to get back into the action here, but Angel Gonzalez still fighting like it's the start of the match. And got hit with the Bulldog. And makes a hot tag to the boxer known as Little Joe Flamenco. And hitting those close line at full force. And welcome back. Welcome back, G-Man. As this match is getting really good right now. As Joe Flamenco setting up. Missed the super kick. Blocks the elbow strike. A 
Uh, see, what I say, Rosa, you got your pixels again. <laughs> you got your pixels again. Woo! <laughs> Now Enyo got to get a hold on Flamenco. Flamenco coming back, working on the arm. Oh, and stomping on the arm. Dragging away from the ropes as he goes straight for the cover. But Joe Flamenco not letting that happen. Uh oh, roll up. Goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two. As still coming back, Joe Flamenco uh -oh, hits it with the armbar. But not letting that happen. Now sending Joe Flamenco to the corner. Hits the bump. And already in trouble as Joe Flamenco getting the taste of Enyo with that DDT. And kick out at two once again. And this match still continues. Enyo is like celebrating like she won the match. <laughs> And don't let that celebration distract you. Because Joe Flamenco. I spoke too soon. Enyo coming back, taking out on Flamenco. Oh, and slams her down. As Enyo working on the former boxing champion known as Joe Flamenco. That's just also representing as Little Mac Jim. Trained by the legends like Little Mac. And close line, sending Enyo down on the floor. Enyo's not having it, and he's putting his hand. Oh, did he just cloth the back of Flamenco? Let's be surprised. He's not like Cassidy James with those werewolf claws. Now bring him back into the ring. Enyo sending Flamenco to the corner. Woo! Woo, indeed! <laughs> Again, slamming down. <laughs> and you're slamming Flamenco down. No, hits her with a knee strike. And it looks like she's going for the armbar once again. But no. Counter by the elbow strike by Anyo. And now sending Flamenco onto the floor once again. Again, Flamenco trying to get the advantage here, sending Enyo on that ring apron there. And the fireman carried by Enyo and now bringing down. I know, Enyo doesn't even make a tag. <laughs> Same way with El Cartel, they're not even tagging themselves in either. <laughs> and Flamenco bringing Enyo back. And finally, a hot tag. Tenobia, ooh, now coming back. Oh, stopped by Flamenco. Oh, and another slam. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> so much going on here. That's not a wise choice to go up to the top row there. That's, uh oh. Because Angel was right there. She could have just pushed you off. Yeah, they're making it like it's a one-on-one -on -one match. I mean, 
This is a tag team match. Come on, AI. And Flamingo have not learned her lesson not to go straight forwards to the corner. And now she's getting the beat down. Not neither of these women not even making a tag just once. They're so stubborn. And oh, look at this. Enyo <laughs> going to interfere in this match here. Oh, and a power bomb onto that hard padded floor. Oh, striking blows. Now finally bringing Flamengo back into the ring. Oh, what is this? And oh, and face planet. Face buster by Zenobia. And now she's putting their herd on Flamengo. Bringing back to the corner. And blocks the attack. Turns Flamenco around, sending back to the corner again. Flamenco is not letting Sonoya to make a tag. Oh, and there's that clothesline by Sonoya. As Flamenco's in trouble. Oh, spoke too soon, tripped her down. Turns it around into half crab. Well, she taps that or not. And finally push her out of the way. No! Dropping the knees. And now try to choke her out of it. And drop to hold to the middle ropes. That's Flamengo hanging on. Uh oh, Zenobia up to the ropes. Oh, and sitting on top of Flamengo. And where's Sinobe going? He's gonna fly here. Oh, and missed a drop kick. And Flamengo gotta go for another arm bar. This is a really intense match. And look at this. Flamengo tried to go for the arm bar multiple times, but every time she hits it, they always escape. Oh, just a slap there. Yeah, what is going on? Hey, this is such a bad ring awareness. Oh, what is going on? This is such a bad ring awareness. You, sh <laughs> you should never attack your opponent where your their partners have the other side. And now a collision just happened there. Flamengo gotta go for a super kick. Moves out of the way. Tornado DDT by Zenobia. These two late just had it already. All I can say, they're really evenly matched to every tag team they have faced. They went a long, hard battle with the ruthless aggression. Fought very hard against the Punk Race sisters. Oh, and look at this! Zenobia made Flamengo tap, tap, tap. Winner by submission. And that is Zenobia and Enyo defeating El Cartel. Here are your winners, Zenobia and Enyo, the Moriners. <laughs> and Rosa not happy? Why? <laughs> I think I know why she does not like to tap. <laughs> she had witness 
that El Cartel was tap. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> That's what I said. I think I know why Rosa does not like to tap. <laughs> she does not like to tap at all. But maybe tap dancing? You know, like tap dancing? I can't even speak. <laughs> All right, but up next in the match. <clears throat> And while officials decide to put one of the team members in a fall counts anywhere match. Oops, that's not it. I put the wrong one. <laughs> oh no. They decide to put Bidra going up against Reina Galactica. Yeah, there's one heck of a match. Really intense match. And G-Man went for a swim and lost some pixels. Oh no. Can I win some pixels? Let me see. Nope, I lost some pixels again. <laughs> Swim is bad, yes. <laughs> I'm a dog. I'm I like I supposed to like to swim, but the swim does not like me. <laughs> One more time. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no Melissa, stop it! <laughs> Following contest is a full counts anywhere match. <laughs> Introducing first, representing the B Club from Salmon Arm, Canada. This is Bidra. And Bidra volunteered herself to compete against Reina Galactica in a full counts anywhere match. Just to at least put it in all this ridiculous view between all these four teams. And that's the B Club, the Lucha Rudas, Punk Ray Sisters, and the current tag team champions, the Nasty Girls. And not only that, even though Bidra's from Canada. And her opponent from Mexico City, Mexico. This is Reina Galactica. And Reina Galactica is gonna go one on one against, I would say, the hometown of Canada, Canada's own Bidra. As Bidra is the second generation of the famous boxer Bear Hugger. No! And Ronnie strike with a boot to the face. But Galactica try to pick up on Bidra. And reverse it into the suplex. And try to go for the drop kick, but Reina Galactica. And then a running tackle by Bidra. Going up against the quickness and the speed from Reina Galactica. And again with another tackle. As Bidra has the strength of a bear. And she's going to be wondering how do you take down a bear? And again, boot to the face by Bidra. And she's putting the herd on Reina Galactica. 
And now in trouble here. That's Bidra going for set up with a choke slam on Galactica. Straight for the cover. But only to kick out at two. No more than nobody said Joey Dogs. And here's a hugger bomb by Bidra. Cover two. But still, Reina Galactica still in the match. As you can already see the frustration out of the angry bee known as Bidra. What just happened there? And Galactica still managed to kick out. And Bidra. What? what? Where's she going? She hardly goes to the top rope. Oh, and a massive headbutt. One, two, and it kicks out at two. Bidra is like really thinking, how do you defeat this crazy? Woman. And this is a, the battle between the powerhouse versus speed. And Galactica with a DDT. And now goes for the cover. Referee James out of position. I forgot she had to do cardio. <laughs> Kick right to mix action. Uh oh. Try to go for the package paw driver, but eats a close line by Bidra. Oh, and that's a hugger bomb once again. As she goes straight for the cover once more. One, two, and three. Bidra managed to defeat Reina Galactica. Replay, okay. Here is your winner, Bidra. I should ask my name. <laughs> and what an upset defeat as Bidra defeated Reina Galactica. And why do I feel this match has, this show has been coming shorter than ever? <laughs> The longest match we had so far was a tag team match. I don't understand. <laughs> and it's already been an hour. Usually it takes longer than this. <laughs> and alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is supposed to, this yeah, look at that. <laughs> We're coming down to the half time of the show. Give me a second as we move on to the next match. Let's try this heist once more. See if we can win something. Oh, shoot. I bet too high. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. <laughs> If I lose, I lose. <laughs> Making sure all the matches in order. And then still we have to figure out what's going to happen with Angelica. Because I think what I've been hearing that Angelica will be putting her up against Carrie Lee and a Stone Frost. How you doing? Welcome back to NWOW. As we're down to the second half of the show. And G Man joined the heist. Doing well. Thank you so much. I'm doing as well as as always. Oh look at that! <laughs> We want some pixels, all right. <laughs> yes. 
I need to make that heist a little longer. <laughs> Somehow it became so short. <laughs> I'll do that later in time being. I know, it's a good feeling, like finally we got some treasure. We want some pixels. <laughs> And also, you're just in time. Because if you may remember what happened last week, that it was Queen Rivera has some clown issues. But the insane's okay. As she won one on one match against DK the Club. I mean, before that, she beat Amy King. And then last week, she defeated Decay the Clowns. And now she's got to be going up against the, the third out of the four members of the Clowns. But luckily, it won't be an extreme match because she's going to be going up against Leila Lucura as she is known as the Hardcore Clown of Mexico. And only this time she's bringing the posses down to the ring. And also Rivera, Queen Andrea Rivera is owned by Rosa. Oops. I forgot the audio. <laughs> Why am I getting double audio? A second. There we go. Good luck, Bayasas. I don't know about that, G Man. <laughs> Are you sure you want to root for the Bayasas? <laughs> And here comes the clowns. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring, accompanied by Amy Kang and DK the Clown. From Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico. Just known as the Hardcore Clown, Layla Lacura. He said, good luck to both. Good luck to both. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. I should have read the chat more often. <laughs> I'm like looking halfway down of the chat, but whatever. <laughs> and I will say this right now that their leader, Lita O'Brien, is watching this match. Oh, I see. You go for Andrea, yes. But you like the payasas. We got four. Right now, their leader, Lita O'Brien. Calm down, DK. Quit spassing out. <laughs> their leader, Lita O'Brien, is not in the building. But I'm, I'm a bit worried if Queen Andrea is going to be able to focus in this match. But here she comes. And her opponent. From San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is Queen Andrea Rivera. Need a creepy mind. You need a creepy mind to join. <laughs> I don't know about a Maya. <laughs> also, I can barely see the the emails. Need to raise it up a bit. There we go. <laughs> 
And yes, this is Queen Andrea Rivera representing Rosa. And I was gonna say Monday was her birthday. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was. So happy birthday to Rosa this past Monday. And hopefully that Queen Andrea get another victory here at NWOW. And she's going for a, new, a winning streak here. But right now, yes it was, yes, I was right. <laughs> it was Rosa's birthday this past Monday. As she has turned 27 this year. And maybe her birthday luck will get a chance for Queen Andrea to give another victory here. As she's going one-on-one -on -one against Layla Lacura. There's the foreign smash. And working on the arm. Oh, elbow strike by Andrea. And coming back with a drop kick. And what just happened there? <laughs> I got... I looked away for a second as he bolt on the floor. <laughs> and now that Drea turns it around, hits it with a clothesline, falling onto the floor. And then Drea work, trying to work in the arm on Lakura. Now coming back into the ring. And Gillard seen on the ropes. Oh, she hit her head. Okay. <laughs> Face buster by Andrea. Now go for the cover here. One. And only a one count. And what did I say? Andrea, don't get distracted right now. But uh oh. And a reversal suplex by Lakura. And now it's time to take the advantage here by Queen Andrea. Hits it with the ankle lock. But now push her out of the way. Tilt the world backbreaker. And try to go for a lock up. Oh, and there's a bicycle knee strike by Lakura. And Andrea's in trouble as they go for the area crash. Oh, and the agility reversal by Andrea coming back with a drop kick. And now sending the Bayasa to the corner. It's the elbow strike. Now working on the head. And she's already coined the crowd to finish this match already. She put an end to this Bayasa. And going up to the top row, 630 split. Oh! Moves out of the way and took the advantage for the pin. But Andrea managed to kick out. And these two ladies are battling against each other's. Uh oh, Andrea already sent a backpack stunner. And it's already over for Lakura as Andrea goes for the cover. One, two, and three, and another victory. Another victory defeated all three clowns. Wow! Queen Andrea put in an impressive match as you have able to defeat all three clowns each and each single week. <laughs> Hat trick for yes indeed. 
Andrea's on fire right now with the winning streaks. Now look, yeah, I don't know if this feud is over yet because looks like the class has going back to the drawing board. And I'm pretty sure all the, the roster is watching this match very closely. Give some cheers to Andrea. Here is your winner, Queen Andrea Rivera. I knew that emotes <laughs> is coming handy. <laughs> Rosa celebrating. Be very proud. I can't even speak. <laughs> she is very proud that Andrea, Queen Andrea Rivera, has gotten another victory. You got 64 pixels. What you gotta do with those pixels, Rosa? Use them wisely. And both G-Man and Rosa went for a swim. No pixels! Oh no. <laughs> But you know what? Be glad that in Queen Andrea <laughs> Rosa's. <laughs> she don't. She's not happy that she's not winning any pixels. Oops, I misspelled the slots. <laughs> Let's see if I can win some big one. I lost ten pixels. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, hang on a second. Rhythm into the ring here. What she's gonna say right now. It can be very difficult for me to come down here. Because I've been doing a lot of impressive here in NWOW, but there are certain someone is really bugging me right now. And I'm calling you out, Tristy Biasi. Okay. <laughs> The impossible rhythm calling out Tristy Biase. And I will tell you this, nobody likes a Dave Biase. But I will remind you that rhythm is one of the top competitors here making a lot of impossible matches. Defeated Angel Gonzalez in 20 seconds. Won the Wonderland briefcase. Cash it in to become the longest reigning Galactic Women's Champion. It's night for you to see me. Because you know what? You're the reason why you're always in my way to able to go after that Galactic Women's Championship. But I can understand that you're doing all the impossible things you do here. You know, I can assure you that I and the impossible rhythm I was able to defeat Angel Gonzalez in 20 seconds, capture the Wonderland briefcase, and become the Galactic Women's Champion, and not only that, the longest reigning champion. It's still 
How you doing, Stone? Welcome back to NWOW. How you doing? Right now, we're in the middle of the promo. Tristy Biase calling out, well, actually being called out by Rhythm. I will remind you, Tristy Biase, because not only that, I also competed over at the CAW paper show, but I was very close to make another impossible win. But even though I did not win, I was able to get a contract over there, and now I'm making my name all over Federation. Hey, listen, you little. Never mind. Just because you're in different promotions, such as here, or over at whatever is that called, the Kitty Wrestling. Or at the CAW Wrestling, whatever that called. I know you're angry, and I know you always try to buy off the Collective Women's Championship. Just because you have the money doesn't mean it can make you happy. But I'm pretty sure you want to get a taste of that Galactic Women's Championship. Yes, Kitty Wrestling. <laughs> Trish Tibiotti calling Kitty Wrestling. Because Rhythm is also part of the MEW, also known as Mew Wrestling, <laughs> owned by Swords the Goblin. You want to be the top girl here in Enwell? You got to face the facts. Because I am still the face of Enwell and possibly still going to be the face of Enwell once I win that championship title. Let's say we're never going to see eye to eye, which is fine by me. I prefer it that way. I don't care how many women will compete against that championship, but I will assure you, I will be the one to take the gold. And such harsh, harsh words by Trish DiBiase. And I don't know where she's going. She does realize she has a match coming up right now. <laughs> Come here, kitty cat. <laughs> Anyways. How Stone is doing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Promo's not my thing, so that's how I got better. Whatever. <laughs> Behind, <clears throat> you're behind the MS. That get cut up by tomorrow. Oh. Stellan's working on something. Yeah, sorry, my Crafters Robertson has had an update. Oh, that also reminds me. <laughs> yeah, also reminds me. I still need to upgrade my my graphic card. I hate when it does that. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I really need to stop doing this. So <laughs> never eat before streaming. <laughs> I always eat before I stream, because then again, <laughs> I will start burping away, and that is so unprofessional of me. <laughs> and you knew. You need a new graphic card. So, oh, you're doing bitcoins, really? I try to do bitcoin, and 
it did not go so well. I don't know how Bitcoin works. <laughs> I mean, I still, I also still want to upgrade my computer, but right now I already upgraded since three months ago, I believe. Because before that, I had a pre-built. Is <laughs> I had a computer pre-built off a of Best Buy website. And then I didn't know how to build a computer back then yet, until like, like a couple of years later, I decided to do a lot of research, a very long, long research to see what's compatible. Yeah, because I have been streaming before with that, with that version of a PC and it did not go so well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure G-Man remembers that I had been crashing so many times <laughs> during the stream. <laughs> and then right now, I'm very proud that I was able to build, well not exactly build, at least upgrade to a better, uh, better components in there. I already bought a new motherboard before then. And then, and then you'd be surprised, and then, and you'd be surprised that uh, during the whole pandemic, I was surprised that they sent all these stimulus check. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> I'll use that money to build the, to upgrade my PC. And I would say, yeah, the stimulus check <laughs> helped me a lot. Because I have been saving up some money just to buy parts for the PC. But now I still have that money saved <laughs> thanks to that stimulus check they sent. So I am okay. It may be possible that sometime in the future I can I can upgrade to better parts on these things. And and I think right now I might be thinking to buy a new case for it. But anyways, I know we're waiting for the next match. I was giving a trusty Beyonce to prepare herself. Because right now, she's not going to be happy that she's going up against the annoying one known as Anne. That's last week. Anne cash in the one ele Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's not be fooled with Church DiBiase running money right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. Now residing in Tampa Beach, Florida. She's known as the Million Dollar Girl, Trish DeBiase. It's raining money. Speaking of money, <laughs> I am not gonna let my temptation get over me and collect all those money that's laying while well, raining from the ceiling. In the words of Trish Sibyase, everybody has a price for the million dollar girl. No, they don't. Money does not buy you happiness. Yeah, it's mon I would say it's Monopoly money. Yes, <laughs> this is trash money, fake money, <laughs> Monopoly money, play money, whatever money it is. <laughs> right, here comes the annoying one known as Anne. Anne. 
and her opponent from Equestria. She's a former royal guard, the annoying one, Anne. And I am losing my voice. <laughs> Oh, she's coming down to the ring. I'm gonna take a swim. And I lost some pixels. Why? <laughs> Money doesn't buy you happiness, but it does make you make us happy. How is that? How is that possible? <laughs> and G-Man finally won some pixels. Unbelievable. I also forgot, this match is an Extreme Rules. And this is... This is Anne's favorite match, as she's ready to put on hurt on Trinity Biase. And Rosa going away. We all... You know, I'll make this for you. <laughs> I'll make this better for you. Yes! <laughs> Nobody likes Tristan Biase. Even I don't like Tristan Biase. Even Rob. <laughs> I forgot there's a cooldown after that. <laughs> better, yes. <laughs> Rosa saying boo. <laughs> Maybe she's booing at G-Man that she wants some pixels. <laughs> <laughs> and now Anne putting their hurt on Tristy Biase. If you may not remember a few weeks ago, Anne won the Wonderland briefcase. And for whatever reason, she got attacked that same night. And for some whatever reason, Sunset Shimmer made an unofficial cash in for the Galactic Women's Championship. So the, so the officials returned the briefcase back to Anne. But instead, she decided to cash it in in a one-on-one -on -one Extreme Rules match against Maya O'Murphy. Oh, covered by Diviase. But Anne did not, wasn't able to capture the championship. And this has been a lot of chaos going on here in Enwell. The Tristy Biase attack Carrie Lee. And now bullying rhythm. And now Anne is here to take revenge against Tristy Biase. But it still managed to continue into the match. And you can see Tristy Biase telling Anne to get up. Hits it with a jawbreaker to the corner, kick to the mix section, and a spine buster by the annoying one. And now she's gonna pick up a trash, try to go for the suplex, but reverse it, giving the suplex of her own. And uh oh, Tristan Yase. Going for the Dream Street cover one, two, and three defeated and there's no weapons in ball. Why? Why are these matches becoming short today? <laughs> no, I don't want to update. <laughs> Why are these matches becoming short lately? <laughs> No, no GG to Tristy Beyonce, please. She's a terrible woman. She will buy off your house and homes. Buy off all, everything you own. <laughs> How's that your fault, Stone? 
Oh no. <laughs> Here is your winner, Trish Debiasi. Oh no, here we go. I guess you can say this is a tradition to the be to the money incorporated and Trish Debiasi. Tells off your opponents. Oh, and stuffing the face with that dollar bill. Just terrible. <laughs> yes, blame Melissa. It's her fault. <laughs> it was Melissa's fault. Can we blame you, Melissa? Bless you. Yeah, bless you. It was your fault. <laughs> you and your glitch allergies. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> KB, welcome back. Yeah, this is. I feel like the show has become so short. You know what? I am not. Gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna finish this. Sh Universe mode just yet. I'm gonna put in a couple few exhibition matches. <laughs> salute, <and> salute indeed. <laughs> Let's have a couple dark matches. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I was gonna wait for this till next next way, but I said, screw it. Let's have another match between. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna put a couple dark matches right now. I was gonna wait this match for next week, so I'm gonna put it right now, and it's gonna be. <laughs> oh, no worries. You lost your match. <laughs> Right now, we're gonna. This, I was supposed to set this up for next week, but we decided to bring it right now. It's gonna be Biako versus Estrella Skull. As the tag team chaos has been going on about between the B Club, the Punk Ray Sisters, Estrella Skull taking up on Biako. I had a brain fart for a second. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> try that again. <laughs> That's been some chaos going on between the B-Club, the Lucha Rudas, the Punk Race Sisters, and the current NWOW Tag Team Champions known as the Nasty Girls. So right now it will be in a one-on-one -on -one match between Biako and Estrella Skull. And KB is angry. Oh my. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan. She's a member of the B Club, Biako. And earlier today, Bidra had a match against Reina Galactica in a fall counts anywhere. And is able to pick up another victory. And now, right now, hopefully, ready for Biako to get another victory for the B-Club. As they are still claiming themselves the most dominant tag team. As they are two-time NWOW Tag Team Champions. And get ready to say, Seto Miedo. And her opponent from Mexico City, Mexico. This is Estrella Skull. You need to ask me something. Why? Tell me. <laughs> Explain thyself. If it's. Yep, Cero Miedo. <laughs> She is inspired by 
Pentagon Jr. <laughs> Ah, bless you, Melissa. <laughs> that was not me this time. <laughs> mm, salut. <laughs> and suppose... If you want to take the next week off, sure. You will take the next week off. Don't worry. Supposedly, it's supposed to be the team of Estrella Skull and Reina Galactica as the number one contender for the Tag Team Championship, but all this chaos has been going around. The NYL official decided to put a stop to this. At least all these four teams will be facing against one against each other. At Summertime Nexus in a ladder match. So right now they're gonna go in, in a one-on-one -on -one competition against each other as Biako taking advantage on his straight skull hits it with the back suplex. Treyasco managed to get out of that submission hold, but now off to the ropes into the tilt the world backbreaker. Goes for the cover here, Biako. Now putting the hurt on the Straya Skull. And now going off to the ropes into the rocket kick, straight to the face on the Straya Skull. And now she's numbering out into the B cutter, but Estrella Skull, I stand corrected. And now into the cover here, one, and only a one count. Biako needs to find another strategy to how to defeat Estrella Skull. And she's over there already relaxing. <laughs> this is no time to relax. Now tossing Miyako to the ropes. Uh oh, it's gonna fly. Tope dive onto Miyako. Now moves out of the way. Uh oh, and now Miyako is trying to take over this match. Hits it with the uppercut. And now Roaster out of the over here. Cover one. And still, every time she goes for the cover, she kicks out at one. This is no time for celebration, Bianco. And now stomping onto the arm. Now Bianco going to up high with the stalling suplex. Comes crashing down. And once again with the rocket kick. Hook to the leg. Try to go for the cover. One, two, and three. Biako picks up a victory. And again, another short match. <laughs> what I tell you. <laughs> And this is another victory for the B Club to able to defeat the Lucha Rudas. As the B Club still claiming itself as the most dominant tag team. And not only in tag team, they able to defeat their opponents in a singles competition. And my partner, Mike, capture the Tag Team Championship once again. Here is your winner, Biako. And 
GG indeed. Before we move on to the next match, we gotta have another. <clears throat> Oops. I mean, before we move on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Keep it together, duck. <laughs> before we move on. <laughs> before we continue to the universe mode. <laughs> gotta have one more match before we finish it off. <laughs> another exhibition match, and I still haven't featured this person. One more dark match. <laughs> They'll be featuring Big Adira Langston taking out the Panda Crusader, Su Lin Chang. Let's see if I can do another heist once more. Again, I put too many zeros. Why? <laughs> <laughs> having voice issues? Yes, I'm having voice issues. I'm losing my voice right now for so much screaming. <laughs> ah! <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's the chili dogs that Melissa's been giving me. <laughs> You put pixies or <laughs> It's not pixies. <laughs> also, I forgot how many pixies I have. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Tampa Beach, Florida. Uh, not Tampa Beach, Tampa Bay, Florida. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this is Big Idira Langston. You have 86 pixels, Rosa. <laughs> From Hong Kong, China, just known as the Panda Crusader, Su Lin Chang. to update that because somehow the heist is finishing up so quickly <laughs> might be able to Oops. do it again let me see ah, come on <laughs> 
seven seconds. It's fine. Let's try it again. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Let's try this heist again. I might have to extend the time because somehow it's still seconds. I thought it was minutes. <laughs> All right. I'm still getting used to these, <laughs> this thing. <laughs> See now, German suplex by Su Ling Chang. All right, everybody joined the heights. Good, good. I may have fixed the heights. Good. <laughs> sort of, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> On to the action. We got Su Ling Chang taking up the former, a former ladies football player known as Adira Langston. As she's carrying the number 42. Going up against a Panda Crusader, Su Ling Chan hits it with a rolling driver cover, but Su Ling Chang kicks out. I'm going, I'm looking at it back and forth. <laughs> and Adair Lexen going to pick up Su Lang. Hits it with a big ending. And she should have gone for the cover there, but Su Lang, uh oh. Oh, hits it with a gut buster. You don't want to make the panda angry. You know, with the right hand tossing over on Idira Langston. And bring him back into the ring. Oh, and oh, and a released German suplex using all that strength. As Idira's in trouble. Su Ling using the martial arts. Oh, a kick to the head, but not over yet. Going to pick up Idira, hits it with a pin, the driver. One, two, and kicks out at two. Oh, we got the results, dude. G-Man did not make it, what happened? <laughs> Came back with Stone, Rosa, and myself with a handful of treasure. Sweet. <laughs> and Ceiling Chang goes for the cover. One, two, kicks out at two. <laughs> Hits it with the clothesline. Oh yeah, since I said the poisoning flat, my poisonous fog, it's in half the crew, and that is just G-Man. <laughs> G-Man died by the poisonous fog. <laughs> now, uh oh, Su Ling Chan, you've seen the famous muscle buster. But Adira is still fighting back. And tries to pick out the panda, but not letting that happen. And now taking on Idira. As Idira's in trouble once again. The panda going for the panda driver. And wisely enough to pull, pull away from the ropes to go for the cover. One, two, and no. Kicks out at two. Su Ling arguing with referee James and welcome back Storm. <laughs> I decided to extend the show because all these matches has been coming very short. The only longest match we ever had are the tag team matches. 
<laughs> and once again with that muscle buster by Sulin Chan. Dear Lixon might be out cold. Cover one, two, and no. Idira Langston still continuing in his match. And Su Lang not having it right now. Oh! Managed to counter the Panda Driver. But Idira got to hit it with a big ending. Hook to the leg. One, two, but the Panda kicks out. Now see, this is how the match is supposed to go. And now Idira grabbing the hold on the Panda. Off to the rolls with a shoulder tackle. Shoulder tackled again using the skills as a football player. And a spat out powerbomb. Blocks by Su Lin. And going to pick up into the back suplex. And it looks like she's going to go for another kick by Su Lin. The martial arts kick to the head of Idira Langston. But how are you still fighting? And wise enough to roll out of the way. Ow! Just slaps in the face there. Now back into the ring. Kick to the mixed section. And the panda picking up on Idira. Oh! And attacking her. And a headbutt. Guinness gracious. Now, once again, with the Panda Driver. One, two, and no, Idira still in the match. Woo! Woo, indeed. And now into the Dragon Sleeper. This is, that is a weird position for a Dragon Sleeper. <laughs> Come on, game. <laughs> Legs with Buddy Dara Langston. And she's picking up on Su Lin. Slamming down on the mat once again. And goes for the Wii. And backing up to the corner once again. For the third time, Su Ling Chang. And Dira blocks the kick and hits it with a spear. Cover two and kicks out at two. These two ladies are going out against each other. Goodness gracious. And drop Toho as Su linking onto the ropes and being choked away. And I think she might be hurt. What are you playing? <laughs> yeah, it looks like he uh, Sule might be hurt, but Idira wants to end this match. Try to go for the big ending. Ducks the clothesline. And reversal once again. And over the head, belly to belly. And hits it with a neck breaker. Put to the leg here. One, two, kicks out at two. The panda is not having it right now. As Idira is trying to fight back. And now onto the shoulders, into the rolling driver. One, two. And only a two count the panda. The Panda still trying to stay in the match. 
Oh, what is this? Oh, a cross-legged slam there. Ouch. Now sending Idara to the corner. Turns it around. And once again, got to hit it with the muscle buster. But still in the match, Idira is firing up right now. And hits it with the uppercut. And once again, the Panda Driver is already over for Idira. Yes, it is. Now, this is the match you're supposed to go, but goodness gracious, that's a long, hard battle between Idira Langston and Su Ling Chang. After so many hard hitting maneuvers between these two ladies, hitting hard with a big ending and then hitting hard with a muscle buster. But the panda conquers all. Here is your winner, the Panda Crusader, Sue Lin Chang. And what a great match indeed. All right, now back to the universe mode and finish up the show. <laughs> we still got two more matches. GG indeed. Yeah, right. And up next, it'll, it'll, and there has been some problematic going on with Sunset Shimmer and Catherine the Leopardess. Because supposedly, <clears throat> supposedly, Sunset Shimmer made an unofficial cash in for the Galactic Women's Championship. And she's claim and she is saying that she was given the briefcase. After the the incident with Anne, but then again, the NY officials de decided to give it a one chance opportunity for the Galactic Women's Championship, as they said the match between Sunset Shimmer and Catherine. But again, Catherine the Leopardess managed to capture that opportunity to go after the Galactic Women's Championship. So what are what is the plan for the NY officials? We got Rhythm and Tristy Biase, Carrie Lee, and the Leopardus involving this championship. And I think they're gonna put them all put them on a six way match. My headphones says battery low. I changed over my ear. <laughs> so right now, the PWO decided to go in a tag team match against the other two ladies coming from the other federation. And no, they're not in a different stream. They're all <clears throat> these three ladies. That is La, Cat <clears throat> La Catalina Calavera, Kimberly the Red, and Catherine all are involved in a mobile app called the Muscle Hustle. I am not sponsored by it, but that'd be awesome if I do. It's the fun game. Agua. Yes, I need agua. <laughs> 
<laughs> you already know I'm losing my voice right now. <laughs> the following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring, accompanied by Sunset Shimmer. All from Equestria. The team of Starlight Glimmer and Trixie. The PWO, the Pony World Order. I am losing my voice, yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Duck ASMR. No. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing some ASMR. <laughs> and don't worry, I have so many outlaws with me. <laughs> Introducing first their opponent. I forgot where she's from. <laughs> from Mexico. This is. Uh, La Catalina Calavera! And here comes also rep presenting from a mobile app called The Muscle Hustle. <laughs> and it's coming now with Catherine the Leopardess, who's earned a spot, well, earned a chance to go after the Galactic Women's Championship. Making sure I'm drinking lots of water right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't worry, just this match and then we got to the main event. <laughs> and a tag team partner from Waco, Texas. She has the strength of three ordinary Texan. Kimberly the Red Lewis. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Th the strength of three ordinary Texan. <laughs> Believe me, that description is real. <laughs> yes, they are. These two leads that be going up against the PWO. And also forget that the PWO also coming from the other federation known as the CAW. Also runs the CAW Federation over at his YouTube channel. Not only that, they just had a pay-per-view show called Breaking the Bank. It's their version of the Money in the Bank pay-per-view show. And Rosa went for the swim and lost the pixels. Why are you losing pixels? Bend them wisely, I say. <laughs> and now Catalina makes a tag to Kimberly. <laughs> and Rosa says, I'm done. No more swimming. <laughs> Time to get out of the pool. <laughs> and now Starlight Glimmer grabbing the head on Kimberly. By attacking the miss section. And sending off to the corner. And Sunset. I mean, not Sunset. Starlight Glimmer with a running bulldog. And head on over to tag in their best friend, 
The great and powerful Trixie. Oh! She tried to take on Kimberly, but she got caught in a mass head elbow strike. No, Melissa, nobody said Chili Dog. And it has it with an uppercut by Kimberly the Red. And Trigley still trying to take down the heavyweight known as Kimberly the Red. Oh, look at that. She's trying to pick her up, but too heavy for you, Trixie. And now she's sending to the corner. Mesa tied to Calavera. And Inseguri. Inseguri to the head of Trixie. Of course, let's not forget their personal ad what is this how is this illegal they're going for the triple power bomb no oh! why is referee James not <laughs> sending sunset whatever cover one two and Calavera kicks out at two And pulling away from the ropes. And Trixie makes a tag to Starlight Glimmer. Ellen sitting hard to the turnbuckle by Calavera. Is coming back, sending Starlight to the other corner. Turns it around. Oh, and double knees to the head. And now Starlight hits it with a jawbreaker. Sending Calavera to the corner. And what is this? Starlight Glimmer. Oh! Hits it with a natural selection. And again. Come on! The shenanigans of the PWO has got to hit it with a triple power bomb on Calavera. And then cover here, referee James. One, two, and three. The Pony World Order managed to take a victory. And again, another short match. <laughs> My gosh. That's okay. I'm losing my voice anyway. We're already come down to the main events right now. Here are your winners. Starlight Glimmer and Trixie Lillamoon. The PWO. I mean, you can already tell that Sunset Shiver is really angry right now. Oh, the. Uh, being accused for what happened a few weeks ago of the Wonderland briefcase. And now we're down to main event, and only this time. The NYL officials decided to give another chance to Carrie Lee. That's she's gonna be facing the most dangerous woman in the UK known as Jellica. But not only that, this is a punishment for Jellica for what she did at the start of the show, attacking Deidre O'Shea. This is the main event. Will Carrie Lee defeat another member of the Money Incorporated? 
or will she eat defeat? But that's not up to her. And G-Man goes for a swim and won some pixels. What? <laughs> How are you winning? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Hold on, let me go for a swim. I feel like this has been rigged to me. <laughs> no, I lost some pixels. Fine, I'm going to play slots. <laughs> and oh, look at that, I won some pixels. Yay! <laughs> I think I made it one them back. <laughs> The following cont- oh gosh, what happened to my- <laughs> What happened to my voice there? <laughs> Excuse me. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making a way to the ring. From Manchester, England. She is known as the most dangerous woman in UK. The bare knuckle brawler, Jellica. The former Interstar Hybrid Champion coming down to the ring and looks rather not so happy right now. But I will say this right now because she decided not to give a rematch to Daedra O'Shea. But at, sun at Summertime Nexus, She's gonna have to face Daedra O'Shea again. And her opponent. From Seoul, South Korea. When she's angry, she sees red. This is Carrie. Lee! Gary Lee. As she became close to capture the Galactic Women's Championship. Oh, Rosa finally winning some pixels! <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> finally a win! <laughs> Ref James rings the bell, going for a lockup between Jellica and Carrie Lee. And a clean break. Now Carrie Lee slamming down on Jellica, down on the mat, and going back to the lockup. And go for the head luck takedown. And Carrie Lee up on the shoulders. Oh wait, turns it around. DDT by Jellica. Swing and a miss from that kick. And now sending Jellica to the corner. But you don't want to make the this crazy British This crazy British Lee angry and, come, and taking down Carrie Lee with the boots And Carrie Lee using the agility turns it around into a DDT of her own Oh, uh, what now? What what is going on right now? It's supposed to be a so many kids. Oh, wait a second. What is going on? Daedra O'Shea hits a DDT on Carrie Lee. Why? Jellica, cover here. One. It kicks out at two. And I will say this honestly. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Stupid game. 
You're supposed to attack Jellica. <laughs> Whatever. Let's pretend Daedra O'Shea attacked Jellica. <laughs> oh. Jack, I'm sorry if I butcher your name. If I bought your name. Jack Napier4921, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the flock. I'm your commentator, Doug Nimson Roman. This is Neo Women of Wrestling. An all women federation. How you tuning today? Quack indeed. Is this and also, since you're saying quack, you can say this. Exclamation point. Quack. Quack, <laughs> quack indeed. <laughs> and Jaga goes for the cover. One, two. And Kerry Lee kicks out at two, still in the match, making a lot of frustration out of Jellica. Oh, it hits a knee to the back. <laughs> and Kerry Lee setting up with a super kick to the face. Hook to the leg. One, two, and kicks out at two by Jellica. I can lead. Why did that not? It's like who got messed up? I need to fix that. I'm, I'm still working on those. <laughs> and Carrie Lee coming back. Hits it with the arm drag, and Jellica setting up. Might go for the wasteland. Should have gone for the cover, but no, she still want to put insult to injury to Carrie Lee. Oh, coming back with a Diddy T from Carrie Lee, but too close to the ropes. And Carrie Lee setting up here. Going to run in Jellica. Oh, lead front over. She missed the spear. Now sending Carrie Lee over. And lands on the floor. Diddy, <laughs> Diddy, Diddy. I can't say her. <laughs> I have a bit of a lips. Diddy T. <laughs> My pronunciation sometimes doesn't come out right. <laughs> it happens. Can't lie about that. <laughs> Savior? Did you just change your name? Or did you have a different account? I am confused. Didn't you just follow me already? I don't know. <laughs> and then Jellica up on his shoulders. Bless you, Melissa. <laughs> and that was Rosa. Why are you making Melissa sneeze? <laughs> it's real. Yes, it's real. <laughs> Goes for the cover. Carrie Lee, one, two, kicks out at two. Oh, they just suspended you. What the heck? Why is that? That's weird. Carrie Lee setting up. Super kick. And goes for the cover. One, two, kicks out at two. Ah, bless you. Why? <laughs> Carrie Lee, oh, try to go for the super kick, but miss. Off to the roads, into the shiny wizard. One, two, and three. Carrie Lee defeated the bare knuckle yes. brawler. Why are you making Melissa sneeze? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, GG and D for Carrie Lee as she able to defeat the most dangerous woman in the UK known as Jellica. What a battle. Here is your winner, Carrie Lee. And I will say that Carrie Lee saw red and put a lot of hurt to Jellica. That is your main event. This feels like a short show, but I don't care. Plus, I am already tired. <laughs> What a mat, what a show today. And now we come to the close. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for stopping by to New Women of Wrestling in WOW and WOW. Aha, too bad. That doesn't work on this screen. <laughs> It doesn't work on this screen. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you. Well, I'm going to say it's Savior. <laughs> for re... <laughs> for re-following me, I think. <laughs> Thank you, G-Man, for hosting. This has been Duck Nivison Roman. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a quack-tastic day.